plays. Um, oh, wait a minute, what's his character? Colleen? Charlie One! <laughs> no, Charlie One, so I hope you'll tune in to Link on NCIS Live. And, yo, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, hey, Edie, your granny, she, you told them earlier, had pearls of hope, and they would lay out pearls, their pearl necklaces, on their Bible. And so you gave me the inspiration. Her new book is called Women of True Grit. Excuse me and pardon me for reading the lyric because I just wrote this. I don't know it. I ain't getting senile. I did. I do have a memory pill and I forgot to take it this morning. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But anyway. Uh, and my daughter-in-law sang it. Oh yeah, your daughter-in-law sang it with me. What's her name? Victoria Renee, yeah, you can look her up on, on Victoria Renee Hand. She's an incredible singer. And she's absolutely beautiful. She hey. Now they could give me beautiful babies if they would. No. <laughs> well, they <will. laughs> Edie May told me, Edie May told me not long ago, she said, Ronnie, if I'd have seen you in 1968, me and you'd have had some pretty babies. <laughs> No, I do. I got pretty. I got a pretty baby too. Yeah, I'm telling you. But anyway, so we're gonna do this song. The title of her new book, "Women of True Grit." I'm gonna bring it a little closer. I don't have my glasses. Hey, hey Dad. Yeah. And you're gonna choke me, but I'm having just a tiny technical difficulty. So if y'all will give me about two minutes, I will be right back with the live stream. Make sure you join us here in two minutes. Okay. Thank right. you so much. Give me just a second. Hey, Edie, tell them about this book again. Okay. Tell the live audience. Okay. This book, Women of True Grit, is over 63 women's stories from around the country, sharing stories of heart-moving stories that would give you tools for life. It would give you inspiration if you need added hope. A lot of people go through depression of different things. You know they need it. And we are here to help each other. All of us have had stuff in life. And I am sharing from some of the great leaders. Like you saw, Kelly Lang was here tonight. Her story of overcoming breast cancer. Earlene Mandrell. She shares stories of miracles. And another great, my, even my daughter-in-law, it's a part of this that you would enjoy, is music. Like Ronnie does. It was very healing to her. Her, uh, and of course, my personal story I share in this that I haven't that all three of my brothers died young at 19, 23, and 46. And it's a story of a sister's love. And in great way, I've learned about when you lose people you love too soon. And we've talked about some tonight with Elvis and some of the great ones. Is that I think the best thing we can do is that pain is a path, and you can't just stay in one place but you have to be able to move forward and honor them with special things. This is one thing Ronnie is doing for me, is to honor women like each of you with respect of having the grit to go forward and to do good things. So thank you, Ronnie. No, thank you, Edie May. And by the way, my mother's name was Georgia May. I know that. I so, that. is it M-A-E? M-A-E. Yep. So, it's Elvis Minnie May. Elvis's grandmother, Minnie May, I was named after her. And so, to me, May is very special, and it's a special treat for me to, for you to call me when he calls, Andy May, what's going on? I know it's Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, would y'all do me a favor? Hold your book up. Hey, Brian Dean, are we live on TV? Oh, uh, we will be in about uh, 58 seconds. She sold out. Do what? She sold out tonight, so where can we get in? Wow. You can go to edhand.com. And if you went under the books area, they're linked to Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, uh, Books A Million, anywhere books are sold. And this is what I love. I try to support local um, independent books of people that are looking for inspiration. You're going to find it in this book. I'll share this because you're a military guy. Brigadier General Wilma Vaughn, I interviewed her. She's the first woman to be decorated as a Brigadier General. She raised $10 million and had the federal government to match $10 million to build the Women's Memorial at the gateway of Arlington Cemetery. She helped my first party of 40 women in the book 
at with the Women's Memorial of 2.5 million stories of women that have served our country and made a difference so that you and I could be here tonight and have some fun. So it's some great stories and that you all will enjoy. And thank you. And what I love about this is this. It never ceases to amaze me. And let me tell you why. Because this week, now Elvis is her cousin, right? So this week, Dolly Parton's manager calls me and she go, he goes, Ronnie, you are on Dolly's new album, her new rock album. I said, say what? He goes, yep. You are on Dolly's new album. And I said, with what? And he goes, uh, with a song that Dolly wrote called Last Night I Dreamed About Elvis. It never stops. Me and Elvis and her, it just keeps evolving and revolving around Elvis. Well, guess what? Elvis's grandfather was Jesse D. McDowell. Well, you never know what monkeys in the woodpile. <laughs> I love Edie Mae. And so, Edie Mae, I said, Edie Mae, I've written a song for Women of True Grit. So I'm going to, uh, okay. I just wrote it. I'm going to sit on the step and watch you. Would you? Okay, sit there right there. And I promise you, I swear I won't mess it up. All right. Are we live? Okay, we're live. All over the world. Women are so great. 